And finally, I'd like to recommend this candidate to you without any qualifications whatsoever. Hmm? Did you catch the ambiguity in that statement? The final category of informal fallacies that we study is the category of ambiguity. In all of these fallacies, some double meaning is the reason why the process of reasoning is broken. We'll see equivocation. That's when we take a word, or even a phrase, and give it two different meanings in two different premises. Therefore, we can't reliably use those premises to entail a conclusion by necessity. Same thing happens with amphiboly, but this is an entire sentence with a double meaning. It's very popular with comics. It's the basis of many jokes, as we'll see. Then we're going to study the fallacy of accent, also popular with humorists and comics. This is when we put a stress or an emphasis on a word or a phrase, and we completely change its meaning. It's great for joke telling. And finally, we're going to study two fallacies that seem very similar to accident and converse accident, but they're not. The ambiguity fallacies of composition and division happen because of some ambiguous predication of an attribute or a quality, either from the whole to the part or from the part to the whole, as we'll see. Do not confuse these with accident and converse accident. That's the misapplication or the presumed application that an unusual individual generates a general law or a general rule, or that a general rule or a general law fits an unusual circumstance. Make sure you get the fallacies in the right category. Then you'll be able to identify precisely what they are.